Uh, this is Stefan from overunity.com and overunity.de. I just wanted to post a new update for today. And first, still don't be sure what to vote for, Hillary or Trump. Then better vote for the Free Energy Party over here. Freeenergyparty.org. That's the domain name. Just look at it, get your uh, t-shirt or your uh, bumper sticker uh, when you donate and uh, yeah, that's real uh, valid alternative. You can vote for them via write-ins at the 8th of November. So uh, just check them out and Give it a try to vote for them better probably than to vote for Trump or Hillary. All right, so now, but now let's come to uh, the main uh, updates here. First, I want to show you a video. I have uh, selected a few new YouTube videos to show you here Chinese free energy. Um, this is already an older video, but I have just uh, saw that and um, uh, haven't yet seen that. This is some kind of uh, motor generator thing. Um, and uh, this is a radio technician uh, who built a motor generator like thing here. You can see it and it also runs a TV set. And um, this is an interview in a Chinese TV station. Just forward a bit. Here you can see that unit. He has a crank here, hand crank, where you see uh, he uh, turns it and then it runs itself on and on. And you can power light loads and uh, to TV set and so on. So that's pretty interesting. And uh, too bad I can't understand Chinese language, but if you can, or if you know somebody who can understand Chinese language, uh, please let us know what it's all about, and maybe you can post uh, a comment about this under this video now. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, to the next thing. Um, I link all these videos um, under the, under in the video description here now. All right, uh, the next thing is here um, this energy wall home battery systems from our friends from the Kyrex 2 channel. Uh, here, this one here, Kyrex 2. Uh, these are the specialists who have been working on, on, on battery technology. Uh, quite a while. If, if you want to watch their old videos, they have really done uh, great stuff to educate uh, us how to really um, do self made batteries which good power output. And now they have um, designed an energy wall home battery systems like the Tesla wall, but um, uh, with a different battery technology. Uh, this is a uh, Indiegogo uh, campaign over here. Um, this is an this uses lithium titanate battery LTO technology, which is much better than lithium ion batteries, and uh, it have a much bigger cycle life, 20,000 cycles, about 30 years lifetime span, uh, and it's much safer than lithium battery, lithium ion battery, and they have a rapid charging ability and better temperature and performance as other battery storage systems which use lithium ion technology. Okay, what is energy wall? It's it's a normal system. You have solar panels on your roof, and then it has a 48 volt output DC goes to this to this energy wall storage system, which is on your wall, and then you have an inverter which converts the DC to AC, and then you have your electric panels. Um, 
and so on backup panel switch and this is how it looks like uh, thickness 10 centimeters height uh, 70 centimeters and length 135 centimeters so it's not too big and yeah this is the most interesting is here uh, these fast charging cycles you can already charge us in six minutes to 80 percent of the maximum capacity and in about 10 minutes to almost 100 percent um, that's very good and uh, the lifetime cycle life uh, after 10,000 cycles, it still has 90% uh, capacity, so it's that's very good. So um, when they compare it to competition companies like LG, Samsung, Bosch, and the Tesla, that the Tesla is is is, uh, is a little bit cheaper with no inverter, but uh, more expensive with an inverter. And they all use only lithium ion uh, batteries, so and have less capacity and um, also lower cycle life. So LTO batteries uh, have four times better cycle life. Now uh, they are much more safe. This is the structure of LTO cells, graphite lithium uh, electrolyte and um, lithium titanate uh, electrode no stress or strain on nlto leading to long cycle life now yeah. and these are the folks from the kyrex 2 team they come from slovenia i think yeah and you can donate or order this already here with this indiegogo campaign they need to raise about they told me 43 43 000 euros so it's only 40 000 here uh, to get funding for to start production in their country okay so maybe you try to support them and click here to support them and maybe order in, ad in advance such a system all right um, to the next thing uh, there's a guy called Tektor um, he is a very interesting free energy researcher and uh, he has really worked on many different uh, magnet permanent magnet motors and uh, the most interesting was this one and maybe the other one and um, here you can show it's now what load <laughs> um, let's see yeah. um, he has a CD um, on a um, on just a rotor here, just um, axis and uh, passive axis, no motor in here. And uh, he has designed some special magnets or some special material here over here where he um, where he has changed the material properties of these things so that it only attracts to magnet, to other magnet. Uh, uh, he has no sticky point with us. He now uh, pulls up uh, in a few moments here, uh, where you can see here he has lying here on the floor uh, a big neodymium magnet, and um, can forward it a bit. And um, so you see here it's just a normal axis, no no motor over here, and. Uh, now he takes this big neodymium magnet and brings us uh, in close proximity to that and, it <laughs> and the rotor starts spinning. There's no uh, 
you know, there's no uh, sticky point, it just turns and uh, if he removes the, um, the magnet again it, it's, it starts slowing down also, he brings it nearer, it starts spinning more, so it really has some torque with it and if he removes the magnet then it stops again. So that's really amazing what he has done. If this could be scaled up in the kilowatts range, I guess we won't have any energy problems anymore. This is really amazing technology. And he does it on the floor, so he has nothing uh, hidden somewhere. He also showed other videos in this latest. Uh, he has shown how, to p how he powered also he has, um, he has been sticking these special materials which in one comment he says it has some kind of um, uh, some kind of uh, how to say uh, it, it works like a Halbach array but uh, it does not have any sticking point so it says just on the one side an attraction of, of magnetic fields but but no uh, repellation no repelling okay fast forward this a bit and here he, he has some special LED bulb which already works with 3 volts um, from C 3 volt on and uh, now he has put this magnet near this this rotor and you see he has this light bulb, the LED light bulb uh, running uh, so that's really amazing so he can light up he has really output power with it you see if, if he removes that uh, magnet a bit then it starts slowing down and then the LED bulb starts blinking and the fan inside uh, this, this uh, the fan gener the generator inside this fan then then powers um, the LED bulb and you see if he, if he, if he shorts out the, the bulb there's no battery inside the bulb it's really getting it the power from from the fan which now generates electricity. As you see if he removes the magnet further away then the thing stops. So seems to be a real genuine uh, generator and uh, he still has another device. This is this one here. This is a also very interesting thing. Oops. Uh it should load now. Yeah. Um yeah. This is um second device he has. He has here some neodym magnet and uh then the black thing here is um an isolator. And then he has a metal um, cylinder at the bottom and a metal cylinder at the top and these two cylinders are connected via this spiral spring. And now he first shows that the, that the meter is working correctly with just a normal battery here. Uh, so that the meter is not faked or something like this. Uh, it shows just just normal DC battery or Kalin battery now you see uh, there is no voltage only at the top 2.68 volts so that's pretty amazing uh, he said it it's, it's works in, in, from electro smog or something like this and uh, but it produces DC output uh, only at the top it has DC output so that's really amazing and um, 
you see if he removes now oh, he can already uh, run there's no battery inside this LED light bulb it's a special 3 volt light bulb it already runs at 3 volts so um, yeah forward a bit so you can see if he touches the spiral nothing happens only if he touches the, the, the top then uh, the 2.68 volts is sufficient to to light up the LED bulb there you see you see nothing at the bottom but only at the top he has said he had worked out these special materials and um, yeah, modified them so he got this to run like this pretty amazing <laughs> this could change everything you can it has a few milliamps output about 10 to 20 milliamps output he said 2.68 volts only at the top uh, so now he removes the neodymium magnet and measured it again. Only the there's no voltage in it. Only if if you stick the neodymium magnet at the bottom with an isolator, you see it's hollow. And this also has no voltage in there. Um, so there's no battery inside there. It's just a normal neodymium magnet with some special isolator tape between it. Now he removed the isolator tape. Yeah. So, so you can see no voltage over there. And if you stick it without isolator tape, it also does not work. Now. Yeah. So pretty amazing this guy. Uh, so check out his channel, Tech Tour. Tech Tour. Uh, here. All right. Uh, he has some more about his magnet motor here, and uh, you can. It's really interesting. All right. Now we come um, to the Hans Kuhler device from this year, this Innova Teno EU. This is a um, company from Croatia, from the town Zagreb. They have replicated the Hans Kohler device. Um, um, and they say the device is soon on sale. Uh, with a trial period for 30 days so they seem to give some uh, they are able to give some money back guarantee and uh, they said to me I uh, corresponded with them via email they said they have replicated the Hans Kohler devices the, the bigger device the Stromerzeuger which is a power generator and um, Hans Kohler had in the earlier days uh, this, this six six um, quarter six um, corner magnet uh, magnet current device but uh, but here also had a bigger one which is this one now replicated they told me they have a special core here and they also use the Barkhausen jumps effect so um, and but their core is, is very special they say they only have five percent uh, losses in there so it does not get much hot get not much warm so uh, not much losses not many losses and um, 
Yeah, you see, they can even weld with a welding machine here from this output. They have a light running and, and the motor turning in the back and uh, yeah, probably using the power of barkhouse and jumps or something similar and uh, from this special magnet setup over here in the special core. Yeah. And they also have this other display here. They have put this machine now on a on a on a little boat here and uh, run different loads over here. Yeah. Uh, like a big uh, flood light, fl flood light, and also a fan or something like this. So. So they have pretty much output power with this thing. And this video runs for 25 minutes, so just check that out. I link it in the description. Yeah. This is really interesting stuff here. Um, no. Yeah. Alright, so uh, if you want to check out, you can rimstar.org um, slash SD energy slash cola has an article about the main principle. This is the principle for the bigger, the Stromerzeuger, because this was a German system from, from wartime, about 1943. Um, all right, we have also here on overunity.com we have an article here with a rebuilt thing uh, from Austrian guys uh, that try to rebuild it, but it's hard to tune this device. And um, it's from our Austrian friends, from the, uh, from the guys at what's the website? HCRS.at and Cola. All right, Cola converter. Here you see that. Check that out. Yeah. Here. All right. Um, yeah. What else? I think that's it for now. By the way, uh, Robert Murray Smith, uh, the guy who designs the um, special super caps via his graphene um, electrodes and special electrolytes has just resigned from Sunvolt um, Sunvolt Edison so uh, he's working now on his own again uh, which he yeah, had the loss itself of about 200,000 UK pounds so too bad but I think uh, he's now on to some bigger things with uh, a hemp based electrodes carbonized hemp carbonized electrodes which still work better than graphene and are more cheap and no news from Orbo or something like this uh, the Irish company Steon have not heard about them from them again also no news from Mike Kent's uh, he still is probably uh, optimizing his cells and selling first unit so we will see I hope we will soon hear some updates from them okay and don't forget to vote for the free energy party in the next elections uh, via write-ins yeah um, you have to do it via write-ins so check them out and this is it for now Thanks for watching and if you like this update, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel to not miss the next 
updates. Okay, thanks a lot. This was Stefan signing out now. Bye bye for now.